What's up everybody, Danos Racing 35 here, figured I'd make this video while I'm waiting for uh, Dremel to charge. Um, oh, the light is on. Okay, well, um, I'll figure that out if it uh, harms it. Um, if anything, it'll be able to see better. Basically what I'm doing is I'm porting and polishing this head. I know it looks rough because um, I haven't had it machined. Um, I've basically been cleaning uh, everything off with um, a little uh, rubber abrasive wheel um, on a cordless Dremel. Um, <clears throat> let's see, where was I? Oh, yes, uh, let me get my flashlight here and then I'm going to show you progress I have been making. Um, of course you won't be able to see it because this is retarded. There we go, that might work a little bit better. Um, there were casting marks on the inside here. Um, the inside of all the... Uh, you can still kind of see them if I can get this thing to focus. Um, there we go. You can still kind of see them if you look hard enough, but if you run your finger um, over them, they're not very... Wow. You can't feel them. <laughs> um, on both sides. And it's the same over here. This one is a lot better than the other ones because you can almost not see it. <coughs> um, I'm trying to avoid saying um because I say it way too much, but I'm failing. So if you look in here, I am trying to get rid of why wow, that one looks terrible when the light's on it, but I cannot feel it. So that's all that matters. Uh, basically, the whole deal is to get the... Uh, Wow, I, I was doing the exhaust first, and if you're going to do the exhaust, or if you're going to do this on your car, um, I would do the exhaust first, uh, because when you take the heads off, there's all that carbon that uh, gets, you know, built up on there, and if you do the exhaust ones first, after you get the valves out and everything, if you do the exhaust ports first, um, you can get all the carbon out, and then when you go and do the intake, there's not as much carbon. There's still some, but those, those are more metal shavings. But when you do the intake, there's less carbon. Yeah. There's less carbon to uh, worry about. And then you don't have to go cleaning the entire thing all the time. So basically, this is where I'm at. This is the driver's side head. Um, I've been working on it for, I've put probably about four or five hours into this so far. <coughs> and there's probably another four or five hours to go. That's why engine building is an art. And I'm not even to the point where I have the block stripped and everything. So that'll be fun. Basically, this is the mating surface right here where uh, the head mates to the motor. This is the combustion chamber right here. These are where the valves go. I have... This is an intake valve. Um, then this is an exhaust valve. As you can tell by the soot and the... I tried cleaning it, but it just was no use. Um, I will be replacing the valves because they're very grooved and very worn. They go right here and then in into those holes and boom so and they seat right there so let me pop this baby out <clears throat> uh, probably shouldn't have done that because I probably just ruined something but whatever um, if you are going to try this yourself I take no responsibility for anything wrong you do because if you follow what I did, the um, motor's probably going to blow up if you don't have the head decked. Because I will be sending this out to get it decked and so that it's 100% true. Because it's a little bit rough. Um, and this engine overheated a couple times. It's an aluminum head. Aluminum warps a lot easier than steel or iron or whatever. So, this is where I'm at. I'm about, 
I'm about five hours in to just this head alone. Uh, the other one is right there, and it's still fully together. And then, no, that's not a product placement. I, that just happens to be sitting there. Um, that's the intake right there, and I will be painting that as well and uh, porting and polishing the inside of that as well. <coughs> so this is a neat little activity for me while I save up the money. Oh, also, <laughs> let me... I'm like a kid at Christmas. My messy ass room. Um, I painted the other valve cover with my uh, remaining brake paint, brake caliper paint. Uh, I did it with a brush because uh, I don't want certain people to get angry if I use a spray can uh, in the house. So I'm just going to deal with the finish. Uh, I'm not worried about it at all. And I will be spraying that uh, outside at a friend's house. So that looks pretty because that is going to be stuffed down in the engine and that is going to be right on top. So I will be painting that with a rattle can. Uh, I've got this stuff right here. It works decent because that's what I painted my drums with. And then brake cleaner. Brake cleaner. That stuff douches that out really good. I'll probably do a video on that. And then this stuff works fantastic. Uh, gunk heavy duty engine degreaser. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. That stuff works fantastic. Yep, it does. So, if you need anything, if you have any questions on how to do something, and I can do it, um, then uh, leave a comment or something, and I'll try to get back to you. Um, if you're going to be a douchebag, whatever, I don't care. Go ahead and hate. I love it. It's funny. Bye-bye. <clears throat>